settlement options. First of all, understand what the word settlement means. Very simply, settlement means to pay. So if you're a beneficiary, you are going to let the insurance company know how you want them to settle or pay you the death benefit. So first choice is you take a lump sum cash payment, the total death benefit. Let's say it's $100,000. They would pay you that lump sum payment of $100,000. And remember, it's the death benefit from a life insurance policy. So you would receive that entire amount of money at no federal income tax of any kind. Tax free. Lovely feature of life insurance. Another settlement option that would be a choice is called life income. You as the beneficiary could tell the insurance company, you know, I'd, I'd kind of like to have a little security and, and do something where I can't outlive this payment. Well, that's why you'd want to do life income because they're going to continue to pay you for as long as you live, even if you go through all of the amount of the death benefit and interest that has accrued over time. It, it's going to always be there as long as you live. But if you die before they pay out all of the death benefit and interest, then the insurance company gets to keep that. But as long as you live, you would be covered. Another choice is interest only. Thing to remember on this one, this is only a temporary choice. Let's say as a beneficiary, you have been so distraught that you just feel you can't make a big financial decision like this at the time when they're coming to you. So you could ask them to just give you an income off of the, um, the death benefit, you know, an interest rate, 6%, 7%, whatever you work out with the insurance company, just for a few months, just temporarily until things settle down and you kind of get a grip on life and what's going on. And then you can make a permanent decision after that. There are two additional settlement options. One is a fixed period of time. The other is a fixed dollar amount. Whenever you have this kind of a payout when something is fixed, either the number of years or the dollar amount that's paid out, remember that the person receiving these payouts could outlive those payments because they're set up for a very specific period of time or a very specific dollar amount. And once the money is paid out or the number of years have passed, then it's done. All the money will have been paid out and they could still be alive and have no additional income coming to them. So let's take a look at the fixed period of time. So you've got this $100,000 death benefit, plus it's going to, you know, accrue some interest. And you say, okay, in 10 years, I want all of that money paid out to me. So basically, in essence, you'd have to have a $10,000 a year payment for 10 years and your money would be paid out to you. You could still be alive after 10 years, right? You will no longer have that income because you chose a fixed period or fixed number of years to receive the money. Fixed amount installments. That's where you're choosing a dollar amount, a fixed set dollar amount, say $20,000 a year. You have a $100,000 death benefit. $20,000 times five years gives you your $100,000 total. So that means year six, you're still alive. You will have no income coming to you because you chose a fixed amount of money. It's now been paid out. So you can outlive either one of the fixed choices. An easy way to remember the settlement options is the first letter of each one of them put together spells the word cliff. You can do C for your cash payment. You take the whole lump sum right up front. L is for life income. That's similar to an annuity payment to you. You can't outlive it as long as you are alive. They will pay you. The I is that interest only. Remember that temporary payout. And then the two Fs is one is for fixed period of time. The other is for the fixed amount. So Cliff will help you remember the choices as a beneficiary, the settlement options. Sometimes you might have more than one beneficiary. So you could have a joint and survivor payout on a life insurance policy. So you have the insured who passes away and the benefits pay. Say there's two people who are listed on this uh, joint and survivor uh, payout. 
Total benefit paid is $3,000, and it's going to be split between the two, so they're each getting $1,500. Let's say one of those survivors now passes away and the remaining survivor is there. Well, they don't get to take $3,000. They still just get their $1,500, their half of the payout until they pass away. So that's the joint and survivor payout. So we've talked about lots of different options. We've talked about the non-forfeiture options. Remember, you can do reduced paid up, you can take a cash surrender, or you can do extended term. We've got your dividend options. Remember, those only apply to participating policies of mutual insurance companies. It's how you decide to receive the dividends when and if they're declared. And then you've got those settlement options. Those are your choices as a beneficiary of a death benefit. Uh, you can decide to take it as a cash lump sum payment. You can take a life income, which is similar to an annuity payout. You can't outlive it. Uh, you can take an interest only. Remember, that's the temporary one, you, just to help you get a little bit more time before you make any permanent decisions. Or you can take a fixed period choice or a fixed dollar amount. Remember, anything that is fixed like that, you could outlive the payments.